so in this video i am going to show you uh, how to destroy a vm uh, or i am going to take uh, intro you to a, a ransomware uh, or we can say it as a worm uh, it doesn't do much at all uh, it just uh, infects the computer and tries to spread itself and it doesn't do anything other than that and it uh, opens a back door on the computer so that others can attack on the port so let's find out the uh, virus name is eternal rocks and i am going to look at a variant called uh, uh, the version 2 or something like that uh, it is actually actually uh, uh, released right after uh, eternal uh, rocks 1.0 was released so as you can see uh, this uh, this uh, really mimics uh, Microsoft uh, software uh, you can see that Microsoft 2017 and all is the copyright and also the file description uh, it is eternal rocks I think uh, yeah right um, it is the name of the real application and right uh, you can see that uh, everything is looking uh, uh, very natural here and also uh, there are uh, nothing else to be found right so you can see that uh, this is uh, 5.03 megabytes long uh, and yeah so now let's run uh, the virus right so first of all I am connected to the internet um, but via a slow internet connection so uh, we can hopefully uh, like capture all the native traffic but will not destroy any uh, VMs or something like that so, sorry uh, any other pieces like that so uh, let's get started right uh, first of all we have to uh, use Wireshark uh, so for that uh, I am running Wireshark here uh, so yeah so you can see that uh, I am running Wireshark and uh, all the all the network traffic is uh, monitored and uh, if I run uh, this virus uh, as you can see it will uh, it will drop some files and all and I will go ahead and install a process hacker here so yeah process hacker I will be installing the process hacker uh, so uh, after that is inserted uh, which I didn't uh, I will open the disk and install it very fast. Here, uh, I have installed Process Hacker here, and uh, we can see that our uh, network use uh, there are uh, not many uh, connections right now, uh, and uh, we can see that uh, Eternal Rocks is running and. Uh, it is not doing much at all but you can see that uh, it uh, uses CPU little bit uh, little bit uh, like 0.3% uh, it just uh, came and gone so what is it doing is that uh, it is setting up everything uh, in the PC and we will uh, we will see uh, the process uh, the the virus kick in very soon so for that uh let's restart WannaCry. uh this is the last ransomware i reviewed it's still there in the pc but it, it is not installed or it has not been executed let's execute this once again uh so yeah um uh, it is anyway running uh let's restart the uh, pc uh just to Make sure that everything is going perfectly last time I did it uh, I restarted the PC and it started working so I am hoping uh, it will do that once again uh, since I have reverted to the snapshot uh, so uh, let's wait till the OS boots yeah so OS has booted uh, and you can uh, hear the sound of something like that yeah so anyway anyway uh, let's go to networks 
so nothing is happening so let's run it once again yeah so so you can see that uh, there are so many connections uh, it is establishing uh, and it's all random uh, random ports but but uh, the local ports are random but you can see that the remote port is 445 uh, 445 uh, stands for SMB uh, inversion that is SMB protocol and it is basically uh, trying to reach random addresses um, and trying to infect all the computers luckily I don't have uh, a good internet connection uh, and I have throttled the internet connection so that uh, TCP protocol um, it will be filtered uh, so anyway, anyway, you can see that some of the connections are working. Uh, after all, uh, the throttling, uh, uh, it's, it's like two or three bytes per second. Anyway, uh, but uh, you know, uh, you can see that there are so many, so many, so many uh, IP addresses it, it is targeting. And if we if we look at the uh, Wireshark here, uh, we can we can like see all the transmission here and uh, yeah you can see you can clearly see that uh, the source is 192.168.43.148 and it is it is like targeting so many so many addresses um, yeah so let's let's stop this nonsense uh, real quick because because I, I don't want anyone to be affected because of me uh, uh, I just wanted to connect to the internet j just because uh, this virus will not work uh, if there is an internet connection. There, there, uh, if there is no internet connection, it will actually uh, download everything uh, from the internet. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let's uh, go to your point. Uh, it has dropped some files, right? Uh, one of the files is Shadow Brokers, and you can see that it it has extracted itself here. Uh, basically, uh, this is the extract of that zip file and uh, I think uh, this thing weighs about uh, 4.15 MB so I think this is in included in the virus uh, uh, in the first variant uh, it was downloading the file from the source so yeah uh, I didn't want that uh, so I used the second variant first variant is the same thing but it is a pure virus uh, rather than uh, just it is not the virus. Uh, we can call it as a worm. Um, so anyway, you can see that there is a fake task manager, and there there are so many so many applications which are which are like um, uh, made to fake Windows applications, and normal user won't even know that uh, these applications are not real, and uh, it is it is another application Windows login logon or something like that. These these applications are normally running on the system uh, when we log on to the system. So yeah, um, uh, these these all are uh, uh, basically uh, faking uh, the pe uh, uh, normal people to uh, think that it is basically. Uh, and also uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, these are the sh shadow broker brokers tools. So uh, yeah. Um, so uh, th these tools are legit and uh, they can they can hack uh, into any pc uh, if they are not running in patch windows uh, if this virus is affected it will it will open a back door uh, in the computer uh, that is 445 or uh, the port uh, it will be completely open uh, to the wild and uh, uh, not even the patches could fix it so uh, there should be any like anywhere software uh, that will be uh, updated i think windows defender or something like that uh, will be uh, updated in such a way that it, it it will monitor that port and block it uh, if uh, any suspicious activity is there so anyway uh, you can see that uh, this virus is completely harmless unless uh, and another virus uh, which exploits the same uh, port or something like that uh, comes into the PC and it only uh, spreads to other uh, computers via uh, network so yeah uh, if you are affected uh, uh, please block the port 445 and uh, stay safe and use a real antivirus no or windows defender or something like that because windows defender is very slow in uh, updating databases they are they are very slow uh, i don't know why 
बट दे आर वेरी वेरी स्लो बट नॉर्मल एनिवर्स एस ए फॉर बाई प्रोसीजर वेयर इफ इफ दे सी ए समथिंग सस्पिशियस एक्टिविटी लाइक सो मेनी नेटवर्क ट्राफिक और समथिंग लाइक दैट इट इज जस्ट ब्लॉक्स द एप्लीकेशन बट इन विंडोज डिफेंडर दिस आर ऑल नॉट अवेलेबल सो ये सो स्टे से स्टे एफ एंड एंड इफ यू आर इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू डोंट लाइक दिस वीडियो यू कैन यू कैन प्रेस दर्द बटन इफ यू वॉन्ट एंड प्लीज कमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी सजेशंस टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो और समथिंग रिलेटेड टू दिस वीडियो और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो बाय